Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to have a look at a reaction which is often used to exemplify the calculation of relative rate. The reaction we're looking at is the reaction between potassium permanganate and oxalic acid. When potassium permanganate reacts with oxalic acid, there is a colour change from purple to colourless. Unlike the calculation of average rate, where perhaps you are giving off a gas which you can follow over time, in this reaction all you can do is time the full time for the reaction to take place. This means that we then calculate relative rate, which is 1 divided by time. To do this, we're going to take the reaction at different temperatures. We'll take the temperature at the start and the end of the reaction to allow us to calculate an average temperature. We will time the reaction for the purple colour to disappear, and we can then use this to calculate relative rate. Let's look at the reaction. For this reaction, we're going to use sulfuric acid to make sure that the potassium permanganate is acidified. We're going to add 5 ml of sulfuric acid using a syringe to a clean glass beaker. To this we're then going to add 2 ml of potassium permanganate again using a syringe. We're then going to add 40 ml of distilled water. We're going to heat the reaction using a Bunsen burner and monitor the temperature using a thermometer. We're first of all going to heat the reaction up to 40 degrees. Once the reaction mixture is at the required temperature, we'll remove it from the heat and place it on a piece of white paper to allow us to see the colour change more clearly. At this point, we're going to add 1 millilitre of oxalic acid using a syringe. We're then going to start a timer and stir the mixture until it's colourless. At this point, you will then take the final temperature. I've sped this part up because at 40 degrees this takes quite a while. Repeat the whole process again, but at 50 degrees. Here are the results from the video. Pause the video now and complete the table with average temperature and calculate relative rate. Here are the completed results. For this reaction, for a 10 degrees rise in temperature, you should find that the relative rate doubles. We can see this between 50 and 60 degrees, and approximately between 60 and 70. However, between 40 and 50, this has not happened. These are actual experimental results, and sometimes things don't work out as they're meant to in the textbooks. However, you should learn that for a 10 degree rise for the oxalic acid and potassium permanganate experiment, you should get a doubling of rate. Thank you for watching my video, I hope that you found it helpful. Please remember to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of new videos. You can also follow me on X at Miss Adams Chem, Instagram Miss Adams Chemistry and TikTok Miss Adams Chem. Bye for now.